<ride> Ciao. <ride> Ciao bella. Me too. Me too. And Cartier does these little ones that are like really skinny and they're of these three and then they each have diamonds in them so you can't really tell the difference but they're three little bands and they do a ring. Like it looks like that but there are three of them and it's all of that. No, that's yours. This no, this is mine too. This and then the little, not the K, the diamond one. Oh, that's so, that's so okay, nice. Okay, so we are live. <laughs> Hi. Uh, welcome everybody to the so nice. integrated Google Plus rookie uh, rookie hangout. Thank you guys for being here. We have Hannah Davis, Emily DiDonato. Am I saying that right? Yep, that's right. Nice. <laughs> and Kate Bach. Hi. We have our fantastic rookies from this year's Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue. And we will go to get questions from you guys. And we have selected five people to ask these beautiful women some questions over the course of the next half an hour or so. And I want to introduce you guys out there. And when I say your names, just Tell us where you're from, tell us something about yourself, uh, and we'll go from there. So let's start with Erin. Hey, guys. Um, nice to meet y'all. I'm, I'm from Atlanta, and I am in the wonderful world of technology, and I'm also an NFL cheerleader. Oh, cool. Cool. That's a decent one. We're all like, we want to be cheerleaders. <laughs> uh, next up is Adam. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? I'm Adam. I'm from Montclair, New Jersey, and uh, I'm obviously a huge sports fan. I'm a sports copywriter, and uh, glad to be here. Nice to meet everybody. Uh, the next person we have here is Thais. Am I saying that right? Yes. Well, hi. Hi, everyone. My name is Thais Oliveira, and I'm a college student, and I'm very happy to see you. Hi. <laughs> that is a really good thing I didn't have to say that last night, because I would have <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's a hard one. <laughs> uh, Jeremy, you're up next. How y'all doing? How are you? My oh, name hey. is... Uh, I'm Jeremy Kelly. I am from Buffalo, New York. Um, I am an Indianapolis Colt in the NFL. And I'm a rookie, too, like you ladies, all right? Yeah. Yeah, Jeremy, uh, I, was, I was told you just signed a rookie contract. Is that right? I did. I did. Congratulations. Here you go. <laughs> my man uh, over here. And finally, we have Todd. Hey, Todd. Hi. My name is Todd. I'm from Apple Valley, Minnesota. Hello. And um, <laughs> I'm an aspiring actor, and I do uh, extras casting for locally made movies. Okay. Cool. Oh, okay. Cool. And before we get to their questions, why don't you three tell us a little bit about yourselves as, as these fine people did. Uh, Hannah, why don't you start first? Um, I am from the Virgin Islands. I grew up in St. Thomas. Um, I moved to New York about five years ago, and I've been uh, modeling since I was about 14. And now I'm traveling all over the place. And this is my first year, obviously, you guys know that. So we're excited to be here and chat with you guys. Emily? My name's Emily DiDonato. I am from upstate New York, Buffalo. Hey! Um, my first time doing Sports Illustrated, too. I'm a huge sports fan as well. Um, started modeling about four years ago. Moved to New York when I was 18. I'm really happy to be here with the girls. We're going to celebrate tonight in Vegas, and excited to hear your questions. Yeah, Emily, you took that very traditional path of hockey player to swimsuit model, right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> That's what most women do. Yeah. Like, <laughs> That's a good uh, Hi, I'm Kate. I'm from Vancouver, Canada. Um, I live in New York, and this is actually only my second time in Vegas, so I'm psyched to be here doing this, and I feel like we get to do Vegas in a really fun, crazy way. Um, and yeah, we're excited to just be here and see what you guys have to ask us. All right. All right. Well, as no one wants to hear from me at all, <laughs> we'll start, we'll start uh, going backwards. We'll start with Todd. Why don't you give us your first question, Todd? Okay. Uh, my question is, what is some of the strangest things that's ever happened on a video, sh or not, on a photo shoot for Sports Illustrated? For Sports Illustrated oh, or in general? in general or Sports Illustrated? Okay. I'm going to do in general. In general? Okay. Yeah, Sports Illustrated was great the whole time, so it's not so crazy. Probably like changing in bikinis in strange places, because you're usually oh, yeah. on the beach or in like remote locations, so there's never... There's never a bathroom, so you have to go outside and have someone like walk <laughs> you, and you yeah. go really quick. I guess those um, things are, yeah. are normal, but like they're they not. Are. Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, please, everyone, close your eyes. <laughs> Sounds like camping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, they've got like a truck coming behind you that they're pulling along with like tons of bathing suits and equipment, and you just kind of yeah make it Get work. Get down and you dirty. Just, yeah. yeah, it's not. There you go. 
<laughs> do, you, do you guys at some point lose, in, you mentioned like it's almost becomes normal. Yeah. You sometimes lose yeah. inhibitions at yes. some point where it's like, all right, let's take my clothes off, Completely. let's just do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's that yeah. sort of like not good <laughs> privacy. All yeah. of a sudden. Yeah, all the time too. Just take my clothes off. Right? Yeah, that one. Shooting yeah. a lion. That was really with cool. an elephant. That was That's cool. cool. I've never shot with any crazy animals. Well, I shot with a cat too. That was actually more dangerous than the lion. I mean, because she was clawing me. She didn't like the flash. Yeah. It hurt. I had like scratches. Yeah. Look, and you said you, the cat was scratching you? Mm hmm. What kind of cat? Like a, a little cat or like a tiger? Well, no, it was like, no, no, it was like a white fuzzy, like one of the really soft, like maybe it was oh, for like, cute. it looked like maybe, you know, a soft cotton commercial kind of cat, <laughs> but it was like, every time it flashed, it was freaking out. It was not, Ow. yeah. Cats are divas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, like none, of you, none of you guys did the body painting, right? No. no. Would you do that if asked? Sure. They're beautiful, the pictures yeah. that came, yeah. They but that's, no, that's, that's totally naked. Totally that's totally naked. Well, I don't yeah. understand the big deal. Mm -hmm. it's, I mean, it looks, it's sexy, but yeah. it's like, it's a, you don't look. Completely. You don't look naked. You are naked. I think it's more the feeling naked, but yeah. then you realize it's when you see the picture that you don't look than naked. for everyone else because yeah. it just looks kind of. Yeah. Weird. I agree. Really, not a big deal at all. <laughs> sure, not a big deal. They are naked. <laughs> We're all cool with nakedness. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, all right, uh, Jeremy. Why don't you give us your question next? <laughs> all right. All right. Um, so, in the NFL or in any football arena, as a rookie or a freshman or whatever it is, you kind of you get hazed. Have y'all been hazed or abused by the vets of, you know, SI? What's the what's the deal? Give us the scoop. Anything like that? Definitely. Well, we don't think, we haven't, everyone's been really nice, but we've gotten the earliest call times and the latest oh, stay yeah. out times. We're yeah. getting abused. Like, I think it's not, like, everyone's super nice. It's just they, like, put you on, like, the not nicest part of the schedule. The early, the, like, early, early arrive at 2 a.m. and you guys have to be mm. up at 6. So yeah. when we're. So sleep at, is not an option. Yeah. No. <laughs> But no, everyone's <laughs> super nice to us. It's just, yeah, we get hazed in the scheduling. Yeah. <laughs> or you get to sit next to crazies on the plane. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like <you got> a story. <laughs> so no, no veterans telling you to make you go get some coffee. Julie Hendricks is not barking orders at you guys no. after seven years. No, they're, like no. Really they're well very smiling. And yeah. Super nice. They help you along. Yeah. yeah. That's the yeah. politically Dancing like Jeremy, you're gonna have to carry yeah. on pads next year. You're expecting someone to be like, but they're not, not yeah. at all. Okay, okay. Uh, Taizi, why don't you give us your question? Okay, great. Um, well, I wanted to know what are the steps to get noticed by a sports, like a big, big thing as a Sports Illustrated magazine. Like I'm sure you get these questions all the time. <laughs> I think there are agencies that kind of do that. I mean. They, they have all the connections that kind of introduce you to the people. And we've had meetings with the, the creative directors and stuff, and I think it's more having a personality and chatting with them and having fun and getting along and making sure that you kind of come across as a normal human being and not someone who's shy and would be uncomfortable in a situation like this. Yeah, right. I, I think when we went and you, our agencies definitely helped to, us to go and meet with Sports Illustrated. And I think whatever Sports Illustrated is looking for that year, that like healthy, beautiful yeah. women. And if you can be that, and if you really are that, I think, I think that's timing. You get noticed. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like it's all about what they're looking for in that moment. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I, I was just like listening because I, yeah. I was going to say the same thing. But I think like for me, I, I've always that's what I've wanted to do. Um, since I started in the industry. So I would bug my agent every year, like, can I go see them this year? Yeah. Am I old enough yet? Yeah. Am I mature enough? <laughs> <laughs> Did my boobs grow? <laughs> Literally, <yeah. laughs> So I, I, I gave my agent in a hard time, and I was like, please, please, let me see them. So I think it's all, I mean, some agents just throw certain girls that they think that would be good for Sports Illustrated out there. Others have to um, beg. <laughs> right, right, okay, okay. It takes a lot of bugging your agent, I guess. <laughs> In my case, I guess. Well, it sounds, like, it sounds like you all, all three of you, knew what you wanted to do really early in life, and that helped. I, not, I, I it didn't. Is, this at is all. a dream job, no matter who. Like yeah. this is kind of any person's dream. This is kind of a crazy situation. So I don't think anyone would say no to this amazing <laughs> opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the um? You know, everybody starts off small, some <laughs> level. What's the that job that you look back on, like, man, that 
was a crappy job. That was, Ooh, I know. That was a bad one. <laughs> when I first started, I would always go and do online jobs where it was like just from like the chin <laughs> down. They so you would go in at like 6 in the morning, get full hair and makeup, and literally you'd be doing like 60 outfits in a day, just the chin down. Oh, yeah. And yeah, it's I think just catalog like, is oh my worst. god, when I first oh. started. Oh god. I mean, that's me. I do what it. you guys think. No, I think it's the days when it's like clothes on, like when you just, it's just getting changed is more, it's like a workout, to be honest. Yeah. It's like pose, 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 pose. Okay, go change again. And it's like rounds. Yeah. And you just, you know, maybe you guys do stairs. Like we have to like rip <laughs> pants off and throw them back on. Yeah. So yeah. it's just as tiring. Yeah. All right, well, let's jump to Adam. Why don't you give us your first question, Adam? All right. Um, mine's obviously sports related. Um, I was wondering, uh, all three of you, who do you think you'd have a better chance beating one on one in their respective sport? Um, <laughs> LeBron James, <laughs> LeBron James, or David Beckham? Oh, oh. that's hard. Wow. I don't play basketball. Or, or, yeah. or you can, or you can approach it like this: you could play LeBron James in soccer, or would you have a better chance beating David Beckham in basketball? I think David Beckham in basketball. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, LeBron James would kill it. Yeah, in he any just sort can of step so much yeah. further than me in general. <laughs> just so get, yeah, yeah. Just wait, yeah, once Beckham's and... not that tall, is he? No, uh, he's maybe we could take him. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh. What is that jersey behind you? Is it LeBron James jersey? But this is a uh, LeBron James Cavaliers jersey. See that? Well, the one oh, over there, the Burt Camp. I thought they burned all those. The Dennis Burt Camp jersey. Makeshift. Little sports studio. This is, yeah, this is my little <laughs> Bumani Jones wannabe sports studio. So. All right, I recognize well, LeBron, but Bird Camp threw me. Yeah, he's a uh, Dutch. He he's from Arsenal in the late '90s. He has some of the most amazing goals you'll ever see. YouTube him. He's awesome. Okay, cool. so the consensus is Beckham at, at, at basketball. basketball. Yeah, yeah. Just because of the height. He is about yeah. six feet. Just because yeah. of the height. All right, fair enough. Uh, Aaron, what do you got, Aaron? <laughs> Um, so I know that you guys are probably going to go to some fabulous star-studded event, um, you know, with a lot of celebrities, and I want to know who you guys want to meet. I know if it was me, I would want to see Justin Timberlake, but... Oh. <laughs> married. That man's married. No, he's <laughs> engaged. Oh. He's not married yet, is he? Oh, no, yeah. They're they married. married, yeah. Ooh, but it's a okay. Pitbull. 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 Hmm. Tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. Who else? Mm -hmm. I wish Beyonce was here. Me too. <laughs> no. And we Rihanna. We our girl crushes, Rihanna. Yeah. But for guys, I don't know. Who do we want to meet? I don't know. I feel like they all have girlfriends. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I, I say anything. You can look. You can still I look. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> we can still I, look. I heard Todd doesn't have a girlfriend. <laughs> Say who? <laughs> yeah, we were going Gosling earlier. Bradley but Cooper, he can I come. I respect you even if he wants. If he wanted <laughs> to. Yeah. We'd say hello to him. We'd be okay Maybe. with that. <laughs> yeah, you know, that I, world. No, Justin can come then. Yeah, yeah if he Yeah, needs. Justin's included. Justin can in come with him. I'm happy. Yeah, <laughs> she, yeah, yeah. Well, let's bring them all in there. Yeah, she did a little impromptu yeah. performance. You made me wild. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> who, who have you guys met that you've been impressed by? Someone that you've come across in your careers that have been, all right, that was pretty cool. Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Yeah. <laughs> that was the go-out recently, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah oh, both she's both. so lovely. And yeah. She's just so down to earth and normal. Yeah. And I yeah. can tell you that I saw her with no makeup on, and she was stunning. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, oh, she's awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> she just had the Better. premiere of her movie the other night, didn't she, Beyonce? Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Life is but a it. dream. It's oh, yeah. No, we were this weekend. I said I want to watch it. Yeah. I don't even like watching her music yeah. videos. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, well, that's round one of questions. Why don't we go back around the room uh, and go back to Todd? If you have a second question, Todd. Yes. Um, what kind of what kind of I'm a kind of an aspiring photographer as well. What kind of things do you look for in a photographer? It's like a really good one. Mm, someone that makes the girls feel comfortable. I think, um, especially yeah. when you're shooting. Like we shoot lingerie and movies all the time, so you want to feel like really comfortable with the photographer. Um, I mean, I think that's the most yeah, someone that's thing. encouraging when they yeah. talk and sort of tell you what they want, whether it's good. Like, keep doing that or wanting to try this. Now running on reserve battery power. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. I guess like First someone problem. Communicate. Okay. Pay your electric bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't have to name names. But have you ever had a creepy photographer? <clears throat> I haven't had that many bad experiences. I haven't had one yet. No. I honestly think the guys get more trouble in the industry. Do they? 
Yes, oh, that's yeah, true. The guys, yeah, get, harassed some, the guys like, get harassed more than the girls. Yeah. We get respect. You know, people are photographers. Yeah. But, no, not like creepy, but just like bad attitudes sometimes. Yeah. But you know, but like in creepy, this industry, yeah. you catch people on a bad day, and yeah. you know, even us. Yeah. Same as anyone. Now, yeah. with these photographers, hey, cool. the photographers in this shoot, like people, I don't think people understand how long these photos every day. How long was were your shoots each day? Start pretty early because they always want the sunrise picture with the yeah. nice light. So like we're up like I mean hair and makeup is not quite the quickest process usually. So we're up at like four or five. I was I know, starting you, three thirty earlier. Yeah, yeah. 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 three thirty. And started. then go until sunset. I mean we don't shoot in the dark on this one, yeah. but until the evening, nighttime. But you're then... usually like driving to locations too. Like yeah. I was two hours away, so um, like the sunset was at five thirty six. And then we had to drive back, and, and we've been up since three thirty, so it was um, yeah, it's exhausting. Yeah. yeah. So that's why it's important to have a good photographer. Yeah. <laughs> good to know. Uh, okay, Jeremy, what is your second question? Um, let me see here. I just came up on the fly. Well, it's about to be Valentine's Day, ladies. <laughs> I knew that was going to be. I currently don't have one, so you know. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, Valentine's Day. What what it would be like the 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 best gift you could receive? What would you ask for? Are you like chocolates, flowers? What is it? I think you can't go wrong with flowers ever. Yeah. There's never a bad time for flowers. Like it could be a daily thing. I'll just throw that out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> flowers are always great. Yeah, I like flowers when it's not Valentine's. Day. Yeah, I'm like, more that's special. Key. Yeah, random acts of flowers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, y'all are easy. Flowers. Yeah. <laughs> Well, along those lines, what's the best Valentine's Day gift you've ever received? I have never had a boyfriend on Valentine's Day, so... Oh, I only had one in um, high school. And my my boyfriend in high school made, like, a giant Rice Krispie cake and oh, and good. made it in the shape of a heart. And that's I was like, oh. And then he did this, like, scavenger hunt thing okay. in my locker. Winner. Oh. I made it <laughs> around <laughs> campus finding love notes. What's and I was number? like... I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel that Rice Krispie treat idea. That's a good one. Yeah, that's good. That's, I feel that's like creative. that's really thoughtful. Yeah. Like, thoughtful. Flowers are easy, I have right. to say. Yeah, but start. But they're, they're nice. Start. And I, I, I want flowers, too, just saying. But, yeah. but, but I want yeah. you to be creative. Like, write a card yeah, or hunt something. Oh, they're for rookies. Something more sentimental, like a card or something handmade or personal, like flowers, candy, blah, 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 but something that they really put thought into. It doesn't even have to be expensive. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. have to be a diamond. It's more the thought. Yeah. I like the scavenger hunt. Like, that's, he's good. Winter. Winter. Yeah. You get what you're looking for there, Jeremy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That'll that'll be be good. Now I just need the dresses to send these flowers out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, let's bounce back to Taisi. What's your next question? Okay. If you guys were a totally different person, um, what career would you choose? Nothing that has to do with modeling or acting or nothing that has to do with this industry. Mm -hmm. Good question. I think that I would be like a yoga <laughs> Something really <laughs> I totally out. take your class. Completely <laughs> zen out and chilled and something like really centering. <laughs> Really opposite of what we do now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Something yeah. in fitness, and you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Personal trainer. I wanted to be a primatologist. <laughs> a what? A what? A, what? a primatologist. I, I wanted to work with like chimpanzees. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They asked me yesterday, like, who would you most want to meet? And I was like, Jane Goodall. They're like, excuse me, what? And I was like, yeah, that is. That's like the only person in the world I want to meet. She work with monkeys. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Chimpanzees. Yep. Yep. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Good question. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> Never in a million years would have guessed that one. And did you tell you what you would? No, I think I would go along the lines of like event planning or production. I'm like a super organized person, and this lifestyle does not allow for my organizational skills to be used because we are last minute everything type. So I feel like I yearn for it. A life where I can sort of plan things and do them as I please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, are, are those things still on the table for you guys? You know, you have many good years of modeling left in you, obviously. But uh, you know, down the line, yeah, those you never still know. Many years. Yeah. Many years. Well, I will meet Jane Goodall. Movie. Seeing you on a primatology show. Yeah, <laughs> 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 like on a safari. Yeah, we'll be safari. Animal planet. Animal planet. Primatology stars. Yeah. <laughs>
it's in the primatology uh, uh, oh, no. All right, Adam, what is your next question? All right, another sports question for you girls. Um, what is your stance on performance-enhancing drugs? Oh. <laughs> How about that one? You get all serious on us, yeah. don't you, man? I gotta know. I want. I gotta know. I, gotta I feel know. like all the cheaters should be caught. Yeah. I I'm feel like sorry. I'm I agree, but I feel like everyone cheats also, so I don't know. Well, then, what about like Lance Armstrong? What's your, what do you think about Lance? It's disappointing, I think. It's disappointing, and I think that it's something that tumbleweeded into something even bigger and bigger and bigger, and it just umbrellas over whole, everyone. Yeah, yeah. And I do think... think yeah, like, do you think it's the athlete's fault, or is it something... Yeah. I feel like we'll never know all the answers to that situation, or what every other athlete was doing, or who started what, because obviously everyone has lied, I mean, in that situation at some point, so... I don't know. I like to hope to see the good in everyone so that it wasn't as horrible as it's made out to be, but... But I can oh, also understand know. it, because, like, being an athlete and that using something to be the best that you can be. I can understand the pressure as to why they go yeah. to that, but I obviously don't support it, and I think that you'll yeah. never really fully know the truth as to who's doing it and when and how and where, like... Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm referencing Dr. House. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know that I know that they've been doping oh, yeah. for years in biking. You know, the Tour de France has been like people have been using ways to get ahead in the Tour de France for years and years and years. It's like where they like evolve all this stuff. Like, it's just it is, it is a shame. It is a shame. I don't know if it's the athlete's fault. That's the thing. I don't know if it's their fault. Right. Yeah. I I, I think it's their choice. I, I'm it is their choice. I'm a little bit more. I'm a little bit compassionate towards it, though, just because I understand all the pressure and, like, even, you know what I mean? Like, you know. And I want to believe that it wasn't that. It's messed up totally, but. Yeah. Do models use performance enhancing drugs? That was my next question. See? Yeah. They use other enhancements. Cosmetic. What kind of enhancements are models using? Is a treadmill? Is a treadmill count as a PED? Yeah. No, no, okay. Coffee, yeah. <laughs> just no coffee. performance enhancing drugs for us. No. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, Aaron, what is your next question? <clears throat> yeah, um, now that you guys are in the spotlight, how are your families reacting to all of this, um, you know, new attention that you're getting? What do they think about the issue? Um, have grandma and grandpa seen it? What's, what's the <laughs> situation? Um, I think they're all really excited. I think... I mean, we found out we were in issue such a long time ago, and we weren't allowed to tell anybody. So, I mean, my parents knew. But yes. other than that, like, all my cousins and my family and my grandparents, nobody knew. So it's just been really exciting to be able to share it with everybody because it's, like, such a big deal to get this issue. And then you're so excited but kind of, like, have to dance in your room with the door closed because no one's allowed to know about it. Yeah. So yeah. it's just been really exciting to be able to share it with everybody and kind of let everyone know what's going on as it's happening and, yeah. Do your families get to be with you guys out there? Yeah. No. My brother just surprised me, so he's at the yeah, hotel now. That's yeah, sweet. that's so cool. Yeah, I'm so Someone excited. to celebrate with. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But yeah. no, we kind of have like Skype going, like when we can, or on yeah. sending pictures, or yeah. Now, where does where does SI swimsuit rank? In, you know, to say this just because you're on an SI swimsuit show. <laughs> where does it rank in terms of the echelon and hierarchy of? modeling deals. I think it's pretty high up there just because it's also so well known. Like everybody knows about Sports Illustrated and it's just I feel like everyone has their hands on it at some point. So I think it's really high up there, especially exposure wise and yeah. And so many amazing models have done it in the past. It's pretty high up there in high. Okay. I think it's unique also. It's different from anything else. It's not like a fashion magazine and put in this category or a on a commercial, it's it's different from anything else, and there's only one issue a year, and they put our names in there, and you have little interviews, and you get to know us, like something like this. No other magazine is doing this, so yeah. it's it's its own world that we get to be part of, which is pretty cool. Okay, and if there was one publication that you could work for that you haven't worked for yet, what would it be? Magazine. Magazine. Any magazine? Any, any any modeling job that you could get that you haven't had yet. I would love to be in French Vogue. <laughs> I, I would like to be in Vogue, period. Any Vogue. Okay. American Take Vogue. Take me. Yeah. <laughs> Vogue. Any Vogue. Come on, Anna Wintour. Uh, on. Okay. <laughs> She's watching. <laughs> uh, we have time to go around the room one more time, so why don't we go back to Todd uh, with, if you have another question, Todd? Um, sure. Well, I'm sure pretty much everybody's been thinking this or asking, wondering this, but uh, are you guys single? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. No comment. Okay. It's complicated. Yeah, it's like your MySpace page. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. It's complicated. Well, thanks for sucking the light out of the room there, Todd. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Um, I'm sorry. Here. Uh, Good Jeremy. question, Todd. Thanks. Jeremy, you got one more for us? Oh man. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just I was just recently out in uh Vegas not too long ago. I um I was actually staying in Salt Lake City, which is gorgeous by the way, if you ever get a chance to go. Um but I got some people that live in Vegas. Where are y'all gonna go tonight? What's the what's the number one spot? Where are y'all headed? Well, we're going to Marquee, but it's it's the long we don't really I mean I don't really know Vegas so well. I mean, I've never been Marquee here is the launch either. tonight, so that's where we'll be. And then tomorrow <laughs> one oak. Yeah, and tomorrow. Oh, you should take a gondola ride at the Venetian, the indoor gondola ride. I, I've Ooh. heard there's so I many cool things to do here, but we like we our scheduled all day, and, and then we fly out, I think, in the morning. So. Well, one day. Yeah. One day. I'm <laughs> ziplining tomorrow. Yeah, 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 awesome. You're, you're ziplining. You yeah, right? I'm ziplining across what? the strip. So oh, cool. yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, it's really cool if you weren't getting filmed at the same time yeah. because I'm going to freak out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> I will watch. What is that? Who's doing that? Close your eyes. Eve, watch yeah. her. No, don't. don't, 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 don't. <laughs> um, okay, we have another question from Taisa. Do you have one more question? Okay, awesome. Um, Every time you work, I mean, whatever you go, you're always going to get that rude person, right? That B word person. <laughs> what do you do? I mean, do you flip out? Do you act bratty? I mean, what do you do? I mean, you Actually, guys are in great out. positions. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why, what do you do? Would you just ignore it? Yeah, I think ignore it. I mean, in life, you always meet a clash with people in a sense in your job or in your personal life. So you just kind of have to let people be who they are in this business because there's so many different kinds of individuals I feel like and everyone you're gonna meet someone that you clash with like many a times in your life so I just kind of let like it the best slide it, you know like, like it doesn't happen that often though I mean we get to work with different people so often and meet people all the time so maybe yeah. everyone's in their politest state because you're fresh to them so we kind of don't I don't think I run across bad B people too <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. No, I me mean, neither. I really, I, I have like, I have really good experiences with the people I work with. But, um, like I said before, you know, once in a while, someone's got, you know, they didn't sleep, or yeah, there's yeah. been times where I've flown in and I've had two hours of sleep, and I may not be so chatty in the morning. But yes. Um, it's not that I'm a uh, yeah. <laughs> so I allowed to say that? Yeah, I yeah. Like, oh yeah, we're on. Okay. 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 <laughs> this is like okay. a. Yeah, just, roll cool. yeah, just, just roll with it. <laughs> this is going um, Adam, what is your final question? All right. Um, this time I'm going to tie the sports into a little style. All right. I know you girls are all into style. The style, the sports stuff. He's, he's <laughs> actually up. All right. All, right, so, all right. So I mentioned I'm a sports copywriter. The company I work for is called Fan Brands, and what we do is we design sports jerseys for franchises. Um, I would mention a few, but we don't really, I'm sure like we don't have time for that. But I was wondering, um, what's your favorite jersey? Do you have a favorite jersey, like in the NBA, or do you have a favorite NHL jersey or MLB jersey? Go Canucks, go! I mean, yeah. You like the Canucks? Like, do you do you own any sports jerseys? Do you, do well, I have them every year because I like it and because it's where I'm from. I actually do like the Brooklyn Nets stuff. I have to yeah. say, Jay Z killed it. The you killed it if you did it for him. I've got a lot of Yankees stuff too. Being from New York, obviously, got the hats, got the jerseys. My dad is like Yankee everything. So I've got a lot of, and the Brooklyn Nets stuff, but that's just because it looks cute. <laughs> no, well, that's <laughs> the point. It yeah. does look cute. Yeah. I like it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, you can mix style with sports. Yeah, yeah I'm trying totally. to find what I don't like that. that I don't know. Yeah. I didn't like the purple and yellow Laker thing. I wasn't into that. No. Watch your mouth. Oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did you have a uniform in particular? You know, I did, grew up in the Virgin Islands, so we didn't have any professional sports teams at all. Mm. So I guess I'm partial to New York just because that's my second home. Did your high like school have a home. team? Yeah, but no, I mean, we didn't have like a professional, you know. Leagues. Le yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's we cool. had our own like little intramural 
sports, yeah. but nothing big time. So I feel I've been in New York for almost six years. So I feel like that's my second home. So I love all the New York teams. fans. Yeah. Cool. Is there a team that each of you would go to see if you know if they were playing? If they were playing outside your back backyard, would you pay pay and go get a ticket to see? <laughs> <laughs> Any or any or sport across like, the board. Oh, I'd love to see the Nets versus the Lakers, or like, I I would go to any. I love all sporting events. They're so much mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. But basketball, I love to go watch. It's mm -hmm. So much fun. Mm -hmm. I haven't That's been to a basketball game. I definitely want to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I've never been to a basketball game. Yeah. Six years Hockey's in New York, really no Madison Square Garden. Watch, though. No, no. You no. should call call Jay Z. I'm sure he would invite you to a game. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> we'll text him later. <laughs> He's on the speed dial. Yes. <laughs> CC me. <laughs> uh, our last question comes from Erin. Um, okay, I'm going to slide two questions in here. One is for Hannah. I am a Virgin Islands frequent, so um, Burrito Bay, do you ever go there? Burrito Bay, oh my That's gosh. My oh, favorite yeah. place. So good. Amazing. Um, and oh second, gosh, no, yeah, it's like a deli, but you can get like sandwiches. It's awesome. Yeah, it's the first time I ever had like goat cheese. It introduced me. Shark turkey. Like a where you get sandwiches. <laughs> you go to St. Thomas. That's so cool. Yeah, I love. We always go um, sailing like throughout the Virgin Islands. We go to Foxy. I'm a sailor too. Yeah, that's a, I absolutely you beautiful. Yacht club out there. Yep. Oh, cool. Bitter End Yacht Club. Everyone else. <laughs> I'm like, really? It's not private. We'll take it up. Um, and then my second question is. Who is going to get Rookie of the Year? Oh, oh that's a good one. Yeah, no, we're missing our fourth. <laughs> There's one more. But whoever you know. vote for. Yeah, yeah. You have to go vote. We it's not all to us. cool, I have to say. Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to be. We all actually love each other. So yes. it's like there's not, I can't, like there's not one girl that we don't like. So. Yeah. These, are some, vote, these vote, are some vote. very savvy girls up here. Right? <laughs> yeah. That was a very politically correct answer. Good no, you're not gonna... no, really. Like, I'm I her. obviously her. Gonna... There it is. All right. Well, I want to thank you guys for giving us these questions. Uh, thanks for spending about a half an hour with us. Thank you, girls, for sitting yeah, here. Nice to meet I know you guys are very tired. Absolutely. I know you got off a plane like four hours well, ago. Well, this is something. actually refreshing and fun. They're not yeah. tired. They went yeah. to go out in Vegas. Uh, <laughs> you don't need energy when you go out in Vegas. It comes to you. But thank you, guys, girls, for coming uh, onto this uh, this chat. Uh, we yeah, appreciate yeah. it. And just a reminder to tune in tonight at 10:15 Eastern time to watch our 2013 live red carpet show with host Christy Teigen and Julie Henderson. Thanks for joining that us, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye. <laughs>